Chad, congratulations. Um, obviously, you're really committed to the Saints. When did you first learn that the Bulldogs were interested in making a long-term attractive offer? Uh, yeah, uh, thanks for that. Um, I learned probably a couple of months ago that they were interested in me, so we had obviously preliminary discussions from there, uh, and it all kind of kicked off uh, a lot stronger after the season finished, and they made a strong offer from there. And um, yeah, obviously the decision was was quite easy. Um, you know, obviously, really grateful for my time at St Kilda. I was there for for six years, and um, essentially made me the player I am today. And I couldn't be couldn't be more grateful for that. But I'm so excited to to join the doggies and to start afresh. So. And it seems that it's a pretty sound business decision, really. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah well, I'm, more or less. I mean, I'm 27 years old now, so um, a veteran in AFL circles. But I feel like I'm just hitting my prime and. To get that security is really important for me and my family. So I've got a little a little daughter, Poppy, now. She's 14 months old, and um, yeah, really excited about my my opportunity here. And obviously, it's a uh, a very young list and a very young forward line, and um, they they're obviously uh, going going places quickly. And you, you know, you saw that at the back end of last year and playing finals. So very exciting. And that's the other side of it is that you know there's a really uh, promising role there for you. With, with, you know, the list looks really. Uh, yeah, exactly right. I mean, that, that was the thing. I was keeping an eye on the doggies at the back back half of the year, and uh, you know, it was, it was very exciting to see them go really, really, really well. And um, some of the young stars they got coming through, I'm really looking forward to working with. So, you know, Aaron Norton's and the Shackies of the world, and uh, obviously one of the best engine rooms in the comp. So I'm looking forward to to getting some really good service from those guys. Were you surprised, Josh, that St Kilda didn't offer an extra deal like they would not extend obviously beyond that year? Is that right? Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't say surprise is the the answer uh, or the the uh, answer there, but um, you know I think it's just one of those things. Um, you know they potentially see their list heading in a different direction. Um, you know they got some young guys coming through, Max King, and they obviously were being really aggressive in the trade period. So um, you know they just potentially weren't in a position to offer me uh, a long term deal, which is what I was looking for at this stage of my career. And um, you know you know we so we just decided to part ways from there and. Um, and as you said, it was just a, it was a good decision in the end. So. I mean, you've been um, in the AFL now for eight or nine years now, and no, no finals for yourself on a personal level. Is that also, obviously, as a business deal, but one of the factors as well? I mean, looking at the dogs' trajectory, you think they are sort of in that direction? Absolutely, yeah. You know, I, was, I you know, two two or three years ago when they won the flag, I was obviously very envious, and um, to be consistently a strong side and to play finals this year, and uh, it's something that I've I'm desperate to be a part of. I'm really excited. Uh, about the potential for for the team next year in the upcoming years, and um, and as I said before, some of the some of the talent they've got here is just incredible. So I'm looking forward to working alongside and trying to lead trying to lead the forward line a little bit, and um, you know be be a bit of a uh, cannon fodder for uh, young Norts and take a hit for him and for Shacky, and uh, hopefully uh, one of us can get off the chain. So and I guess playing under a premiership coach, there aren't too many of those floating around. In the comp, is that also uh, an attractive aspect of it? Yeah, hugely attractive. So I met uh, Bevo uh, a few weeks ago, uh, early days, had preliminary discussions with him and uh, we, you know, we hit it off straight away and you can tell he's a real people person, a real relationships kind of coach and um, that's something that I was really looking for. So um, you know, I'm really excited to, to work under him. He's clearly uh, one of the best coaches in the comp. So yeah, another, another exciting aspect. What's it like? Um for a player when there's a, um, the trade's going deep, hasn't been done yet, clubs are posturing, just you know, holding their ground. How do you cope with it all? I haven't got many fingernails left, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you that much. When it, uh, when it was going into the uh, wee hours of last night, I was starting to get a little bit stressed. Um, I called Bevo yesterday morning and he was up in Noosa and he calmed the anxiety a little bit. He said, mate, we'll get it done, no worries. So. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, nah. I had full faith in the in the recruiting team in Sam Power and um, you know these guys. And uh, yeah, it is stressful though. I mean, I think I'm not sure, but the AFL is trying to create that kind of atmosphere where it all happens late and creates a really exciting for people watching and fans. But uh, when you're on the other side of the fence, it's not that exciting. <laughs> it's very stressful. But it was a, it was a great night last night. I celebrated with my family and uh, yeah, now nah, very relieved and very excited. What was the um, on-field uh, vision Bevo sold you with uh, Norton and Shaki? Do you expect to play all three of you together in the forward line at the same time, or will you guys be? Um, will there be a bit of movement there? Well, I think the best part about the three of us is we're so versatile. So um, you know, Norts can play forward and back. I can play forward, ruck or back. 
and Shax apparently is a, is an endurance beast. So, and the other thing is they're so young. So one's 19 and one's 22 or 21. So, uh, very exciting. I definitely see us playing in the same forward line. There's there's definitely room for three tours. Have played in a setup with three tours before, and it's worked really really well. And um, you see Hawthorne during their premiership era as they definitely played three tours. So, uh, it's one of those things that can definitely work. And um, we'll be playing under the lid at Etihad, so it'll be nice and easy to market, which would be good. So. Oh no, he had Marvel. Sorry, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> 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 you yeah, exactly right. I mean, um, I've kind of been in limbo for six or seven weeks now. So after I made my decision, obviously waiting for the the, the finals to finish and then the trade period to start and finish. And yeah, now I can uh, let the hair down a little bit. I'm heading up uh, up to Byron in a couple of weeks to get married, which is exciting. So uh, another exciting part of my life and. Uh, a little week away with the uh, with the girls, which will be great, and then um, get stuck into it here. So you got a new contract, a young bub, and a uh, and getting married. That's a pretty exciting time. Yeah, it? yeah, it's been a big couple of weeks, and um, we sold a house a couple of weeks ago for a good result too. So uh, <laughs> it's all coming up, uh, all coming up trumps. So, no, it's very exciting, and um, yeah, as you said, it's been a good couple of weeks. Quite a lot of ticket as well. Too. <laughs> Maybe on the way home, yeah. yeah. You, you touched on the midfield earlier. I mean, in, in the second half of the season, the Dogs engine was probably one of the best in the comp. Is it? I mean, you mentioned how excited you are, but like, is it just one of the more, in terms of on-field, like the more attractive aspects? I know you mentioned playing next to Shaki and Lorden, but that delivery... Yeah, it's, it's going to be incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got three midfielders in the All-Australian squad of 40, so... Um, you know, and you know a lot of guys around that that have won best and fairest, and they're obviously A grade players. So uh, it's definitely a very exciting aspect. And um, big Timmy English should be putting it down their throat, and then hopefully the Bonds putting it down my throat. So that'll be good. <laughs> and I guess um, you know, 99 games with the Saints was it, from a father's son aspect was the club a little bit reluctant to let you go. <laughs> well, I mean, that's definitely one of the uh, the things that. Um, you know, it was a real shame that I couldn't get to the 100. Um, so, yeah, Poppy won't be able to play uh, father-daughter <laughs> yeah. for the AFLW, yeah, but yeah. Uh, hopefully play 100 here at the Dogs <laughs> and we can get the father-son happening. So. It seemed like a real key aspect of what they were doing there for a long time. Uh, is it a little bit surreal to sort of be standing here now as a, as a Bulldogs player? Uh, it is a little bit, yeah. I mean, I, um, I definitely, uh, you know, when we were in the thick of it a few years ago, it was, um, you know, I've abs absolutely loved my time at the Saints and, um, there's definitely um, no bad blood there at all, and it's just one of those things. It's it's football, and you know, players and clubs go separate ways. So um, it is a little bit surreal, but um, you know, I've always admired the club from afar, and um, just as I said, I just can't be, couldn't be happier, and I'm absolutely ecstatic to be here. So. Starting out as a, a kid at the Giants and Saints, and now here, have you had a bit of a chance to reflect? <laughs> I actually had a couple of views with my manager last night, and um, he remembers picking me up coming down to Canberra and picking me up when I was just an 18 year old. So we've, it's been a long, a long journey. We moved up to Sydney to, to uh, finish year 12 for the GWS team and then a couple of years there. And then the big move to Melbourne and uh, yeah, now across, across the bridge. So uh, it, it's been a long journey, but um, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's uh, made me into the person I am today and I'm extremely grateful for the opportunities I've had at all three clubs. So. Stopping here now. <laughs> Absolutely. This is it. No more trades. <laughs> and I guess, I mean, they've also um, bolstered the other end of the ground with Alex Keith coming in. Uh, how far do you think, you know, the dogs could go next year? Yeah, well, Alex has obviously had a breakout year and yeah. uh, he played against us and it was pretty much Operation Stop Keith from intercept marking. So uh, we didn't do a very good job. He took a bunch that day. So, uh, yeah, really wrapped to have him down the other end, which is exciting. And I mean, uh, the Dogs played finals last year, obviously, so um, I'm sure that Bevo and the boys will be aiming to do the same thing again, and um, I'll be happy to go along for the ride. Have you had any calls? you spoken to any other mates? Yeah, I had a few. Uh, I've been messaging a couple of them who are overseas, um, and they were just kept asking me, is this trade going to go through? They were, <laughs> I think they were half stressed as I was. So, uh, yeah, I had reached out from a lot of the guys, um, so it's been great to talk to them, and, um, yeah, it's fantastic. A great, great bunch of guys, and... Obviously a great culture and yeah, really looking forward to it.